So let's say you're trying to make a bridge and it just whatever you do isn't working. It's not letting you even test it out because you keep getting this error or this error or this error. Start out with a template. So I'm going to just hit a new file, hit no, next, next, 24 standard, no, no, hit f next, finish. All right, so here I am, blank page. Let's start out with a template. If I go to file, and I hit load template, I can pick any of these designs right here. Let's pick the through Trust Pratt. There we go. So now it's kind of grayed out up here. These aren't actually there. They're just showing you where you should put things. So start out with your joints, the little circle tool. Add the joint wherever it says to do it. You know, if you miss, you're up here. It's probably still going to work. Or you can grab the little arrow tool and just bring it right back. Then I add the member tool and just connect all of these. And don't forget to connect the actual road there. Okay, so now I have all of these pieces. And let's go to test it. All right, so that didn't work. Why didn't it work? If I had a sample, well, probably the pieces, whoa! Probably the pieces just weren't uh, thick enough there. So let's go back to my uh, drawing board, and it's going to show you these pieces right here broke. So those pieces need to be thicker for more support. So I'm going to highlight those, or I can just click on each one, or I can click on it and hold shift on the, nope, this program is different, hold control on the keyboard and make those, let's say, 190. All right, now I'm going to test it out. Okay, cool. So now it's going to work. I have a bridge. It works. Now we go from here to try to uh, make it cheaper. So looking at this bridge, here I can even pause this, I think. Let me pause it when it gets closer in the middle. You can change the speed if you want to. So let's pause it right here. So these ones, pretty dark red. That means it's under a lot of force. Don't want to mess with those too much. These ones right here, pretty dark blue, under a lot of force. Don't want to mess with those too much. But these ones in the middle kind of stay a lighter shade. So I can start playing around with those. So let's go back to my drawing board. And let's click on, let's say this one right here. And let's make it smaller. So it's at 170 by 170. So a couple things I can do. One is a solid bar. So right now I'm at 459. I can also change the material. I can change different types of steel. I've never actually played around with those. I can make it a solid bar or a hollow tube. So I just made that a hollow tube versus a solid bar. And my price went from 459 to 451. So I saved about $8,000 just right there on that one piece. Why? Because if I have a solid chunk of metal, it's going to be a lot more expensive than if I had a tube of metal because there's less material. Less material means less money. So just by doing that, I saved some money. And let's test it. It still works. So that's one way to save money is by changing the material. The other one is to change the size. So let's also, let's click this one now. So that's 170 by 170. And let's make that, I don't know, 150 or 130. And that just went down even more. And it still works. So that's another way to get the cost down. All right. So for this assignment, we're shooting for $350,000 or less. It is definitely possible. It will take you a couple days to try to figure it out. Um, you, you know, it's a lot of trial and error. This is usually the uh, assignment that kids hate the most while they're doing it and then love the most once they've done it because it's a challenge. How do we get it done? 
Now you don't have to just use this template right here. You can change this around also. You know, if I want to make it look different, and just realize it's going to change the cost also. Now, every once in a while, you're going to find a weird thing where, let's see if I can find an example. So right now I'm at 468,000. I'm going to make it smaller, which should be cheaper. So 468, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Of course, the one time it doesn't do that. Every once in a while, you'll find something weird happen where it will actually increase the price. Um, essentially, what's happening is this is trying to mimic what's going to happen in the real world. So, um, so what's going to happen in the real world is I can buy steel at a certain dimension because that's what everyone uses, so that's what the manufacturer makes. Well, if the manufacturer has to make a weird size or a weird shape, they're going to charge you more money. So even though one might be smaller, it might be more expensive. Usually, that's not going to be the case. But again, this is trying to mimic just some of the weird things in it that happen in real life. Of course, I'm trying to get it, and it's not working here.